Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Toshiba Canvio Basics external portable USB 3 hard drive and also disassembling it. This is the 2TB version but Toshiba also have 1TB and 500GB versions of this drive available and they're all basically identical apart from the capacity. Like most portable external drives these days, this is a very basic black box design with the Toshiba logo on the front and a single USB 3 port at the back. And there's a blue access LED near the back of the drive. On to the speed test now and performance is average for drives in this class with around 108 megabytes per second for both read and write. This is pretty much the exact same score I've seen on every other 2.5 inch external rotational drive I've tested. To disassemble this drive is a little bit tricky, there are no screws anywhere and at first there doesn't seem to be any way of opening the case without damaging it. But you can see a seam just below the top of the drive and you can get the drive open by inserting something thin into this seam and levering the base outward away from the top to release the catches. I'd recommend using something plastic like this mobile phone opening tool as opposed to a screwdriver to avoid damaging the case. It's going to be a little bit stiff but eventually the top of the drive will come away. Once the top is off you have access to the drive inside. There's nothing securing it in the case so you can just lift it out. At this point though you'll realise that there was actually no point in opening the drive at all. Unlike most external drives which use standard SATA drives with a SATA to USB bridge PCB, this drive has no SATA connector and the USB 3 connector is soldered directly onto the drive with no way to remove it. So there's no way this drive could ever be used as anything other than an external drive. If you were looking for a cheap 2.5 inch drive to harvest for your laptop you're going to have to look elsewhere. Luckily all of the catches on my drive were still intact so it was a simple matter to put the drive back into the case. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching.